So perhaps the most profound lesson that young people can take from Lincoln is the hope that as you make your own choices in life, you choose in such a way that as you grow older, you too can take pride in knowing that you have left your community, your university, your family a little better place for your having walked on this earth. This year's Senior Day speaker and winner of the Nichols Chancellor's Medal, Pulitzer Prize winning author Doris Kearns Goodwin used the profound rags to riches story of America's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, to encourage Vanderbilt graduates to follow their dreams and make a positive impact on the world. As we leave, I think you think about what your contribution can be and what you can do to really make a difference. And I think she really highlighted the ability for, for us to say, what, what, can we, what can we contribute to society? What can we leave as, as our, uh, kind of what can we leave as our milestone and what can we be remembered by? Learn how to get up from failure and then just keep going. That's why I kept Abraham Lincoln going. So I'm sure that's gonna be good advice for me. Goodwin, who is the author of the definitive biography on Lincoln, talked about his struggles to succeed and his uniquely positive approach to politics. Throughout his long career, he had never made permanent enemies. Even when he lost those elections, he'd been able to shake off the feelings of jealousy, squelch the desire for retaliation, in the recognition that politics is a continuing game of human relations, that one's opponents today may be one's allies tomorrow. Indeed, since leadership is based fundamentally on human relations, his emotional skills proved the absolute key. The students took Lincoln's story as a powerful analogy for today. You can kind of like see similarities in Lincoln to Obama. Well, I guess I really liked when they talked about not making enemies with the people that you work against and things like that, that your enemies might end up being your colleagues and they might end up being your biggest allies. So I think that's something to think about in the future. Goodwin also talked about Lincoln's incredible sense of humor, which often goes against the stern image we see today. Indeed, if he were alive today, he could easily rival John Stewart or Stephen Colbert in the quickness of his wit. At one point, somebody yelled at him, Lincoln, you're two-faced, and he immediately responded, if I had two faces, do you think I'd be wearing this face? <laughs> Goodwin said it was ultimately Lincoln's emotional skills that led him to win the Civil War, end slavery, and save the Union a lesson that translates for all generations. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolfe.